Hello everyone! Welcome back to Final Fantasy VII Rebirth. Um, a little bit more of an exploratory part right now. It might be a little bit shorter. Uh, but it is a Monday morning. I'm not due at work until like 10.30. It is currently 8.49. So I've decided to try to get some more playing in because I'm hooked. I'm a hundred and thousand percent hooked at this point. So I am going to do the normal thing where I, not the normal thing, but like, uh, you know, rather than eh, not play and kind of, you know, just err on the side of caution, I am going to throw caution to the wind, do some exploring, and yeah, here we go. As I said, I'm, I'm... And then I, I live about 15 minutes from work, so I can probably be on here for about 45 minutes, then finish getting ready, head out the door, and still make it. And yes, am I doing the... Am I totally doing what I would have done as a teenager at this point? Absolutely. But I feel like a teenager again, playing this game. This is... This is... Final Fantasy, man. This is... I... I I'm all... Like, with everything I've seen so far, I'm... I feel like I'm almost more excited than I was at Remake. And as I said, I wish I was streaming when... I really wish I was... Oh, what? I really wish I was... Hey, Cloud! Do you notice any sparkling minerals nearby? <clears throat> Maybe. These are known as Guidestones. Crystals that direct travelers to shrines to the divine. The stones emit light when they shatter, producing an illuminated path. If ever you're lost, try smashing one. Following the light should lead you to a sanctuary sent to honor the tutelary deity of a given region. The shrines contain okay. untold divine knowledge, slumbering within massive crystals. I can use this knowledge to strengthen your summoning materia, so I encourage you to seek out said sanctuaries. Where are these boxes that I can break? Okay. The grasslands are home to Titan sanctuaries. In the Age of Myths, when Titan rose from his subterranean prison, he created a massive earthquake. Thus did a vast swath of land rise from the sea, becoming the grasslands. Wait, does it tell me where it went? It does, okay. Um... But anyway, I like I I, I kind of sad that I wasn't streaming when remake came out. Um, oh, so there's multiple ones. Just because I would have loved to have shared my original experience, like my initial experience with remake. I mean, I was glad that you know Agent Tim Gamer got a chance to stream it and you know was playing it for the first time. And he also played the original Midgar run for the first time. Um, so it was great to, to, you know, for everybody to share that with him. But I know I ran past it, but I just wanted to see if there was anything back here. Um, but yeah, I just kind of, I, I really wish I would have, you know, been able to share the, that experience. So this is kind of... Crystallized knowledge of the summons and which strengthens so many materia. Belt on matching up. You'll need to synchronize with the crystal before I can extract data on the deform entity. I'm counting on you. Examining a summon crystal will reveal its memory matrix. You must memorize their position. Oh, God. Memorize uh, their position. As I just got done talking about how excited I am about this game, now I gotta do a stupid puzzle thing. Then disappear. You must make inputs at the correct times to replicate. The matrix. If you succeed, 
you will weaken the summon in its combat trial and strengthen its corresponding materia. Now let's do it. It can't be that hard. It's the first one. Famous last words. Okay. There, there. God, I'm not going to be able to remember this. So, two o'clock, two o'clock, four o'clock, six o'clock, eight o'clock. What? Oh, I missed one. Yeah, I, I got that, thanks. Right? All right. interesting, I guess. Analysis complete. I managed to extract the necessary data from the crystal. This should allow me to strengthen your materia. Nobly weak and titan. That's a beast. Okay. Let's call the chocobos. Not be in plain sight. <laughs> I'm sure the building is not the proto relic. I'm sure the. Uh... Oh no. <laughs> yep, this here's something that we'll appreciate. <laughs> Hell yeah, I appreciate it. Wait, what are we appreciating? When something appreciates it. Yeah. It means it's a kill! Right! Which means we can finally go legit! Gentlemen, today we're founding Vex Business! Quit slacking off and see if there's any other treasures around here! You got it, boss! I'm real good at appreciating things! Yoo-hoo! Oh, appreciating treasure! <laughs> Oh shit! Oh shit! Oh shit! Is that Nolan North? What the hell are you people doing here? <laughs> Wouldn't you like to know? I mean, I would too. And it looks like crap. But it's definitely pulsing with a ridiculous <laughs> amount of power. Once we flip it, we'll be swimming in lakes of gill. Oh, okay. Well. Isn't that? Hold on. Now you're after our treasure? Well, sucks to be you. We found it. Yeah, we're the only ones who can appreciate it. 
I mean, I kind of feel like we're still over now. Ha! You really think that's enough to intimidate the likes? Of... I mean, it's not like they stole anything. They literally found something. We're freaking out. Now listen here, numbnuts. I got a foolproof plan. A nail bat. I call it. Use a decoy. Yeah. It's like Tokar and Razor from. Ooh, okay. I see you guys. Okay. Ooh, okay. Okay, maybe, maybe don't. God, okay. I won't give up. Let's keep it up. Whatever. Bless me. All right. Come on, I blocked that. Maybe. Pipeline management facility. Oh. Yeah. So dead. <laughs> Okay, boys. Now's our chance. Let's catch up with Beck. There's like uh, ruins over there. <sighs> Ugh, my nose is now irritated. Well, we will continue on. I don't. I don't think we're gonna actually like go after Beck right now, but.
get at least a little bit back. Let's see if we can't do anything with the tra transmutator. Can't do anything there. Nothing there. Well, we can do this, though. Come on, Cloud. Let's do a leap of, leap of faith. You're an assassin, right? So let's say I saw some items over here. Probably already got them, but it never hurts to have more. Hidden plumes. Oh. Well, oh, not yet. Oh, hey, there's a thing. Oh, I thought I saw a box over there. Hi. Guess I know. You're over here. I don't know. I don't like this little chocobo that leads you. It's like, come on. Like, like I, I can see it. Clear as day. Right over there. You know what I mean? Like, seems a bit handholdy to me. I'm coming. Don't I don't need you to annoy me into going. Home skillet. Where, where were those items at I just saw? Oh, right there. <clears throat> but yeah, you know, like I don't. It just seems very handholdy. I do like you, though. You're cute. But still. Your purpose feels very hand-holdy. Alright, let's do this to get everything back. Cushion is hilarious. <laughs> he... Aw. And he sleeps with us. Or he rests with us. Bye. As I said, he's cute, but his purpose is kind of annoying. of beach. Okay. So 
there's like nothing down here. Not even some crafting items. That's sad. If we swim. There's an island out there that we can go to. Now I know in the demo nothing attacked us in the water, but it does make me wonder if there are things that will attack you in the water. Let's see. that graphical point. Hey look, item. Ooh, materia. This is the first is this the first time I found materia out in the world? Like out in the open world? I think it is. Oh wow, there's a lot of stuff out here. So they definitely make it worth your time to swim out here. I like that. All right, let's see what the materia is. Precision defense focus. Okay, I mean, not that great, but since we're kind of low on materia right now. It is kind of crazy that even in a Final Fantasy... Like, I know in Final Fantasy XIV you can swim, but, like... I don't know. Oh, they can take you across the water. Oh, my... That's insane. So I could have been just riding the chocobos across. So nothing over here. All right. So there's really enough. I mean, besides that island out there, there's not really anything down here. It seems a bit empty to me. Maybe, maybe there's some kind of hunter boss fight, or not boss fight, but like bonus fight or something down there later. Oh, there's something up this way. Oh, chakra improved. <laughs> are, are you a phoenix? Okay, I'll come back to you in a minute. I'm right here. I need to go down this way. 
like an owl sounded like. Alert! Alert! Dangerous being detected in your vicinity. Please ensure you are prepared before engaging. <laughs> My sensors are picking up some understandable confusion. It's a pleasure to meet you, Cloud. I am your personal monster assessment instrument. But since that's a mouthful, you can call me Mai. Why do we need a whole other Chadley? Like, can we just use Chadley? Of the fiends you encounter. I hope I can be of service to you in the many battles ahead. With that out of the way, I'm picking up unusual fiend activity nearby. To procure the biological data that we require, you'll need to complete specific objectives during combat. But don't worry, because I'll be here to help you succeed. Good luck. So Chadley. Found in various locations. Uh, can now flee from these battles. Unique beasts and fulfilling certain battle objectives will unlock new trials and okay. I smell fiends. Okay. Pressure an enemy, stagger an enemy, avoid being poisoned. Avoid being poisoned? Oh come on, man. Uh, how do I avoid being poisoned without some kind of like okay. Protocol. All right, the let's go. The odor that these fiends release when threatened is so effective at driving away predators that their population has exploded. This particular variant is extremely dangerous, capable of spitting toxic fluids on its prey before attacking in mass. Such tactics allow them to hunt creatures as large as alpha ducks. Imagine something like that creeping into every corner it can find, and you'll understand why they're considered such a menace. With any luck, the data we collect here will aid us in finding a way to reduce their numbers. I know you can do this! Just Alright, so we have to pressure and stagger, so let's assess. Allow me. Got poison. Hey, we leveled up. And weapon leveled up. Try again. Let's try again. Okay, but we already got the first two, so now all we have to do is avoid being poisoned. So we don't have to start completely over. We need to keep the pressure on. There we go. Okay. Congratulations! You managed to complete all the intel objectives. Hey, party level two. So wheat. Okay. So what does that mean? Oh, uh, okay. I see. So, basically, when you level up a weapon, you don't get to pick anything. It just gives you stuff. Because I have it set to manual. Ooh, magic power up by 20. I like that.
Alright, so anything different on our party because of our party level? Like what does our party level give us? I don't remember. Chakra level three. Is this like this is like our highest level materia right now, I think. Except for healing. I forgot, she has level two healing. Dude, I love how I love how the uh, leveling up of the enemy skill. Okay, so there's that. We've got about 15 minutes left, so let's see if we can follow this or, or this owl-looking thing. Okay, we're running by a bunch of resources, and you know me. I gotta pick them all up. Yeah, I, I hear you, owl. By the way, I love owls. Owls and foxes, I love them. If you've watched my Ghost of Tsushima Let's Play, you know I love foxes. Alright, let's go. This will probably be the last thing I do. As long as it's not like super quick. If it's super quick, then I might do a little bit more exploring, but I don't want to push my luck. Ooh, two chunks of iron ore. Look at that. You've stumbled upon a life spring. Can't even see it. Why don't you try scanning it? See what you uncover. Accessing the planet's figurative database should help us learn about the area. New points of interest. The Spring Seeker Owl. Hey, you see that? I think it's the life stream. But yeah, we've we've already established this. Thank you, Tifa, Captain Obvious. Oh, I love them. I love this the uh, music. So we probably have to go back and and explore that other. Oops. Surveying Life Springs allows you to decipher the knowledge of the life stream revealing regional intel. And more. Chadley. Confirmed. Data received. Life springs such as this can be discovered in every region. Their potential energy output is far too minuscule for Shinra to exploit. But to us, they're fonts of intel. Yes. I encourage you to seek out more of these life Science! Friends. Okay. Oh. Okay. This humble town serves as a tra transport hub for, for the grasslands, hence the distinctive Bailey, Bailey built for the monitoring and commercial and private traffic. During the war with the Republic of Junin, Shinra saw fit to occupy Calm due to its stout fortifications and strategic value. And it has remained under company control ever since. Man, like, Shinra is just, it's not a company. It's a freaking monarch. As it lacks a react as it lacks a reactor in its town, Calm is relying on Midgar for its pipelines and for steady supply of Mako which is stored in the large tank for regulated use. This arrangement allows for the residents to enjoy both modern conveniences and a healthy environment as com a combination that has attracted many new residents of late. Ten years ago, a significant portion of the town was damaged through Shinra, quickly intervened and carried out a comprehensive reconstruction effort. 
detailed regarding the incident and extent of the destruction are sparse. Yeah, of course it is, because Shinra doesn't want people to know. Here's a three-person book. Oh, that's a combat simulator. Can I actually do the combat simulator right now? I can buy more materia at this point if I head back. Let's Where is that? right to where we need to go, right? Ooh, hello. I won't lose. You! God, are annoying. Only the strong survive. that bird trying to take us? See, here I am now. Where'd the bird try? Where'd the bird go? I want to talk to the bird. I could do this, but this is fine. Might as well get this done. Since we're here. <clears throat> yes, hi. Yeah, you caught up finally, huh? A break for chocobos. Alright, so let's do this now. Friends here. Sorry, 
Birdie, I don't need you right now. Sorry. that spring that I already know about. Oh, well, a couple minutes left. Man, I'm taking this right up to the wire. Things, huh? Been edging for a fight. Rare Mandragora variant identified. Commencing guidance protocol. Staggered and prevent enemies using quick nap. Feed all enemies within the time normal. limit. Got him. Beautiful. We've accrued a lot of great data. Thanks to you. All right. Back to over here. Where we have all oh, that. Ah, where we have already been. Okay. Too far. Oh, God. All right. Uh, when a chocobo icon appears above your chocobo, buried treasure is nearby. Probably should have read that a bit better. Is this...
Okay. Time. Okay. Hey, Cloud. It seems that a transmitter chip is buried nearby. You should be able to sniff it out with the aid of a chocobo. Once you pinpoint its location, you can ask your bird to dig it up. With that, let the treasure hunt begin. Base descent. Okay. Uh, thanks, Aerith. the bird can kick. Hold it down. Do I have to follow that? Wait. time.
Oh. That's quite the transmuter chip you found. In fact, it was once used in the construction of windmills. Given its rarity, I would not be surprised if someone had need of such technology. There's only one, though. It's like chocobo hot and cold on crack. Not as bad as I thought, though. Enhanced copper brace, okay. Now transmutate a cushion. All right. Look at this great picture here. Let's try to get a good picture here with everybody. Can we get everybody in the picture? So anyway. I guess this isn't as short of a video as I thought it would be, but whatever. Um, I gotta go. But yeah, I uh, love exploring the Grasslands region right now. So much to do in this game, and I love it so, so, so very much. Um, with that all being said, please like, share, and subscribe to Milk Toast Gaming. Um, and let me know in the comments what you think of Final Fantasy VII Rebirth at this point. I know that this will probably be coming out after the fact that the tubbubs died down, and that's fine. But please let me know what you think of the game. Um, and yeah, I'll catch you guys in the next one. Catch you later.